Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell as well. We left Chief Mountain in Montana and crossed into Alberta. Beautiful mountain scenery. This is just outside the park. I didn't even bother going into the park, but I just photographed the mountains outside, little farms and some lakes. It was just fantastic. I love these old buildings with the mountains in the background. Really does something for me. What a lifestyle it must have been. Before the internet, before so much communication, you'd be out here all alone among the mountains. Giant round hay bales all over. There's so much hay to harvest. I guess that keeps everybody busy here. You see lots of huge farm machinery and the beautiful mountains off in the distance. What a trip we're having. Canada is just as beautiful as the States. It absolutely is. We've got just as much beauty and wonderful things to look at in Canada. It was nice to see Chief Mountain and travel across the States, but it's kind of nice being back in Canada. This trip we're going to stop into Vulcan, Alberta. I've been there several times. I'm really looking forward to it again. Still, I'm going to try and get as much prairie photography as I can in the meantime on the way there. Love the trees against the farm fields. Here's some of the big harvesting machines. Look at those combines. Look at that and look at the huge sky behind. This is really big sky country. Lots of grain elevators. As I said before, the elevators are really important to me because my grandfather came out west and worked on building these things many years ago. Right after the First World War, he moved to Canada. Look at these big old elevators. I don't know, these are not all that old and they're in really good shape too. They're still in use. They're still using some of these wooden elevators. A lot of times we see big metal ones and big metal silos instead. There's something about this though. This is old time. This is the way it was, the way it used to be. And I really enjoy being here. Wonderful things to see. Here's an elevator in Nanton, nice big red one. I've seen lots of red elevators, painting them different colors now as well. Some more farm machinery, look at this. I think these are abandoned actually. This one is not in use anymore. And these things gotta be really expensive. Look at the size of them, wow. They make a lot of noise when they're running and you see great big clouds of dust over top of them something to see. I'm from Ontario and well we have some farms there but nothing like this really. We stayed at this truck stop and these are the kind of trucks that are running all night long when you're trying to sleep. Up again we're on the road and we're headed to Vulcan. Just cruising down the road. Beautiful beautiful blue day. Nice big bright clean white buildings on the side of the road. Didn't have any problems at all. There's actually a campground where you can park three nights for free. Here's some solar panels in the shape of grain elevators. Here we're pulling into Vulcan. There you go, welcome to Vulcan. Now Vulcan is one of my favorite places. Look at this planet of Vulcan authority. <laughs> They got a sense of humor. Everybody here is really super friendly. It's just such a nice town. Now we're pulling into the information center. It's like a Star Trek kind of building. They're right into Star Trek here. Tourism, the official Star Trek capital of Canada. This is Vulcan, Alberta. This is just great. Memory of Gene Roddenberry. Went in, I had a look around. Lots of memorabilia, photographs, a green screen setup where they'll put you right on the deck of the Enterprise. Look at these t-shirts. Mary got a t-shirt here. These are not the tribbles you're looking for. Beautiful place. And the people are so friendly. I didn't like the next generation as much as the original Star Trek, but that was my favorite when I was a kid watching that stuff. Wow, we, Captain Kirk. 
unbelievable. This memorabilia is all signed. These are parts of the stage, the captain's chair. Look at this stuff. Lots of signatures here. Wow. William Shatner. I got to meet this Vulcan guy here. Pretty amazing. We're having a blast. I got right into the Star Trek thing. Met a lot of people here that were visiting. Fella putting his tow truck there so it looked like he was towing the Enterprise. It's pretty cool. I shot this at night in the daytime. Sunset over and over again. I spend a lot more time here than I probably should have, but I really enjoyed it. It's just an amazing town. It's so friendly and peaceful and quiet. There's a lot of solar panels here, solar energy. We got a lot of fog, you know, and then the sun came out and cleared away the fog, nice and blue. Weather's always changeable in the prairies. I've been loving it here. Star Trek, like I said, that was, that's what I remember of Star Trek was this ship, and I think it's fantastic. Wow, now it's at night. This is what it looks like at night. And the town was so quiet at night, there was nobody running around. It was really nice, very peaceful. We're leaving Vulcan, and we're headed to Lake Moraine. We're going to have a lot more adventures. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell and share these videos as you see fit.